Hello, all my beautiful, wonderful Gabe and Gabet. How are you guys doing today? How was your day today? Was it good? Was it bad? Did it suck? <laughs> How was your day? I'm so glad that you're here. So glad you're here to hang out with me today. Um, so we have to pull up a chair, you know, grab you a little snack, a little something to drink, a little cup of coffee, you know, whatever time of day it may be for you today. Because today, guys, we're going to be talking about the new YSL um, All Hours Foundation. I got it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> the new All Hours Foundation. It's only available on Selfridges overseas. Um, they have not brought it over here yet. Um, but I wanted to try it out before it got over here. So I wanted my thoughts on it because I really love the OG. We will be comparing it to the older one. Um, so if you were interested in this or if this was an OG for you and you absolutely love that and you want to know what the new formula is going to be like, then you know, then stick around and let's find out together. Okay, so we are ready to get started on this new foundation. We're just going to go over a little bit of information about the product first and just talk about it a little bit. Um, so this is the All Hours Foundation. Um, this is the um, Full Cover Luminous Matte All Day Wear SPF 39 um, uh, by Yves Saint Laurent. Um, I don't know if you, any of you guys um, were familiar with the older formula, but this is what the packaging looks like now. Um, it, you know, on the side, it just gives you um, a little bit more about what the product is about. And then, of course, it has um, the ingredients on the side. Um, the ingredient looks look pretty good. Um, you know, it does have um, water is the first ingredient and it does have a dimethicone is like the second. Um, but it's typical for a long wear foundation. Um, you know, the, uh, I'm trying to look for the sunscreen in it. The sunscreen is like a, it's a menthol, cinnamate, um, oxisolate, um, glycol, titanium deoxide. Side. So there's quite a bit, a little bit of, um, there's more like chemical in it. Um, there might be a little bit of physical mixed in with it. Um, it looks pretty, I mean, it looks pretty good. It's supposed to be more natural. Um, I think it's supposed to be like almost, I think it's 77% skincare more infused. Um, just like the Lancome because Yves Saint Laurent is owned by L'Oreal. Um, so a lot of the L'Oreal companies are going to overhaul. They're all going clean. They're all going more um, sustainable to the environment. Um, so it's very cool how they're doing it. But a lot of the companies are going through major overhauls. They like makeovers, um, packaging, um, ingredients, everything. So a lot of the stuff that you loved uh, could be phased out um, and they're being reformulated or, you know, or they just were phased out altogether. Um, so basically, this is what the packaging looks like. So it looks just like this. So this is what it looks like. It has the beautiful Yves Saint Laurent packaging around the top of it, just like the um, Yves Saint Laurent Lash Clash. Um, this is the way the company is going. So I really like this direction. I like the fact that it looks it looks more glamorous, a little bit more. It the it faces the price point. Um, and it does have like the SPF 39 on the back of it. And then it tells you a little bit about what it does. Full full cover, breathable texture, um, couture finish. Um, and then it says luminous matte on the front of it. We'll compare it in a minute with the other one because I have the other bottle here sitting in front of me. But um, just to give a little bit more about it, um, it is waterproof, it is transfer proof, it is sweat proof. Um, it is supposed to be a more of a lightweight long wear. Um, and um, it also is supposed to be a breathable formula. It balances and smooths the complexion. Um, and it has, and it's infused with hyaluronic acid, which I feel like everything these days are infused with hyaluronic acid. <laughs> Everybody's just taking it and kind of running with it. Um, but that is what it's uh, kind of what it is at this moment. Um, and so also just to mention and throw this out there, I just to remind everybody that I did get this from Selfridges. Um, over in London. Um, so I got it overseas. Um, if you've never had a membership with Selfridges, you can actually get one. I think it's around $55. But with that includes, you get like free shipping. So basically you can buy anything over there and it's a lot cheaper over there, guys. I mean, this foundation was $37.50 in, um, over in Europe. Here it will probably run when it does come out, it'll probably run anywhere from $47 to $50, maybe $55. They won't Increase the price a lot here. So sometimes it's kind of worth it because it, you get it in like two or three days. And Selfridge has got really good customer service. So just throwing that out there. I'm not trying to throw a membership on you guys or anything like that. But um, just to let you know, I'll have that all down below. If you guys are interested and you want to check it out, you can. Um, but um, I don't know when this is coming out here in the U.S. I'm not really sure. Um, it could be any, it could be October, it could be November, it could be spring. Um, who knows? But I mean, but they do have a wide variety 
range of shades, the shades is 40 shades um, for this particular foundation. Um, I will put here beside me um, all of the different shades and it actually gives you, if you were an older shade, it will give you the actual match that you need to find the right correct shade that you were. Um, I was um, anywhere between a B650 or a B60 um, in the older formula and this formula now, the, this one is now a, um, it's an M MN5. Um, so I don't have the chart in front of me. Um, I forgot what it kind of looks like, but I'll make sure that I put it beside you guys. You can see it, um, but it just kind of shifts you over. So it's just an easy shift over if you were using that color. This is the color that you would use now. But please keep in mind, um, even though I did get the shade that they recommended for me, it does have an SPF 39 in it now. I don't know if that's going to be the SPF when it comes to the U.S. It may be a little bit lower, um, but right now, as far as, as it goes right now, it does have a higher sunscreen in it. So that means that the foundations are going to run lighter. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and they, and two, they also, you know, they will sometimes turn on the skin some. So just keep that in mind too. Um, so if you do, are in a store or if you're somewhere, if you, especially if you're in Europe and you can um, probably at least get shade matched, that would be great. Um, you know, so that way you can find your shade more. Um, again, I don't know when this is coming to the U.S. or what is the price is going to be like or whatever, but I'm just really excited because I really love of the older formula and this is what the older formula looked like this is the all hours this the older formula sorry i had to cap backwards but that's what it, the cap looked like that's what it looked the packaging had a little stripe down the side looks pretty similar i mean the bottle is a little bit more of a frosted glass now where before it's somewhat frosted but not as frosty this is a little bit more frosted um again this has got a spf 39 in it this one only had a 20 in it so this one was a lot was a lot um, lighter in sunscreen so if you guys don't really care for heavy sunscreen in your foundation, or if you don't like those, um, then you may not really enjoy this foundation. It might be something you might just want to pass on. But if you love the OG and it was one of your favorites and it's what you wear all the time, or if you really enjoyed it, um, it does. This one did say a flawless matte full coverage. I um, mean, it was oil free 24 hour wear, where this one is more of a luminous matte now. Um, so there is going to be some differences. It's going to be interesting to see what it looks like on the skin. Um, I know that with this one, I always had to mix it with another foundation. I would always mix it with a little bit. I used to mix this one a lot more than just using it on its own. It is pretty on its own. Um, it just was a little bit matte sometimes, and I would have to be careful, but I would mix it with a dewy foundation or something like an oil or something a little bit more mulling it to make it. But it is just a beautiful, beautiful coverage with this one. It just leaves a beautiful look on the skin. So I'm very interested to see what this new one's going to look like. But um, this is what the pump looked like on it before. This is what the pump looks like on it now. Um, they're very similar to so the pump's not really that much different. Um, I'm going to just, we're going to pump the shade. So this is what I was using in the B60 Amber is what I used in the older formula. And this is the one that they suggested. And again, it was, it's the MN5. So let me pump it and start it. Um, okay, so that's what it looks like. So she's totally a lot lighter because of the SPF. Um, and it's a lot more runny, so that's a big difference there. Um, let me see, because I know that YSL has a scent. Um, they do have a little, you know, they have that, it's a European product, so they have, they use a lot of flowers. So, Dior, Chanel, YSL, um, I think Armani is most of theirs is kind of fragrance free, but these are definitely, they're more, the scented long comb, a lot of those. Um, I'm probably sticking my nose in it. <laughs> Um, of course, the, the the newer one, I mean, the, the older one, yeah, I can definitely smell it. Let me smell the new one. Mm, okay, so the smell is a little different. The older one, um, I don't know. The newer one smells a little bit like the long comb. So it smells a little bit like the Karen Glow. It smells, the, tech, the smell of it has a little bit more of that smell that like the Karen Glow. So if you have the Karen Glow or if you try to sample in the Karen Glow, that's a little bit what this one kind of smells like. So it's got that little bit of a, it's a little bit more of a floral. So again, if you're very sensitive to fragrance, this may not be something that you may enjoy. Um, but I mean, but other than that, it, that doesn't bother me any. Um, but this is what kind of the textures are kind of looking like. They look very pretty much similar, but wow, look at the color difference. That is a major color difference. I know that it, this is a little bit more of my darker shade, and I would mix it with a lighter shade. Um, but um, but I always loved the way that it looked. 
but I mean, but um, yeah, that's a big, that's a big, that's a big, definitely a big jump. So it's gonna be interesting to see how it kind of looked on my skin. Um, so I think that's it pretty much, guys. I don't think there's anything else really we need to discuss about it. I said, why don't we just go ahead and try and get it on and see what happens. Mm, let me just um, deorder my lips real quick before we get started. Mm, just love this, love this flip maximizer stuff. It's so good. Okay, so I've done a little bit of the Instant Moisture Glow by YSL. Um, I think they still make this one. Um, none of they did reformulate some and repackage, but this is the one that I have. Um, it, it, they did come out with the new, new one. Now, I did use a little bit of the corrector in the new. Um, I never used this product much. I bought it whenever... Um, I tested out the new when the foundation, the tinted moisturizer came out. I um, mean, it's really pretty. This is a really good product. So I do have that on. So we are all smooth and glowy because it's supposed to be more of a matte, but it's got a luminosity. So we'll see, but I over moisturize just in case a little bit, because you know, we don't like matte on this channel. So just saying, so if you're new and you just come over, you know, I, I just, I'm not all about the matte. I'm all about the do and all about the glow. Um, because you know, we 51, so we're just not all about that looking at matte flat looks <laughs> too many more. <laughs> maybe when I was maybe 18, 19, or I think when, when did I start kind of with experiment and foundation? Probably around the 19 era or something like that or whatever, when I could just discover that it would cover up blemishes. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so this, we're going to get started. So again, this is what the, um, total bottle looks like, just like this. So we're going to take a little, I'm going to shake it pretty good and we're going to go in, um, I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand. We're going to start off with just a little bit of a, just one pump. That's one pump. So that's quite a, it looks like quite a bit. Um, I'm going to take my Sigma brush and this is my Alice in Wonderland brush. Um, yeah, this is a, a F4, is it F47? F47 brush in the Alice in Wonderland. I love these brushes. They're so great. But I'm going to dip a little bit in it. And we're just going to kind of start off kind of, I'm going to, I'm going to kind of manipulate it a little bit so we can kind of start out a little bit because I don't want to get too much because it is more of a full coverage and I usually go with more of a um, light coverage, more of a light to medium coverage. I will put up here um, so you guys can see my skin type and what I normally prefer in a foundation. So if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I normally prefer, that, that way you can kind of have something to kind of go by, a guide to go by. Um, so it's definitely the floral, I can smell it, the floral scent. Um, wow, that gives a quick, quick, coverage okay um that's nice the other one did too um so it just was a little bit more matte so i don't know if it's maybe just because I've, I've really over moisturized but i can see the glow in it i'm like I'm a little shocked it reminded me a little bit of the karen glow it's reminded me a little bit of that one for some reason it is definitely giving me that it's definitely a lot lighter that is for sure it is not like anything like the other the other one. Um, I probably would make them between, or probably, I probably would take it now because this is a little bit light. I mean, it's not bad. Um, I just feel like it's a little, it's a little pasty-ish. Now, it may start turning with my skin once it sets on for a little bit or we set it and everything, um, you know, because, but I can always add bronzer and stuff in with it too. So this is not a big thing. I can, I'm, my skin is really weird. I can take a lot of different foundations and colors and stuff and work with them. So if they're too dark, they can blend with my skin. If they're too light, I can make them work with my skin. I have a very unique kind of a skin tone because I guess of my Cherokee Indian heritage. Um, I can kind of just blend stuff in really well. I don't know because my mother was more fair and then my father was more red. Um, you know, but I don't know. I just can really mix in foundations really good and with my skin a lot of different colors. Um, but yeah, it just looks really, it looks really nice. It goes on really nice with the brush. We'll try it with the sponge on this side and see what it looks. But I mean, so far it looks nice. Um, yeah, it's not, I mean, it's sitting a little bit in my... A little bit here which never does i never have anything set there but usually when i use a brush i go over it with a sponge so i normally don't always use just the brush alone um but yeah i like that right now it looks like they give a pretty good coverage it's smoothed everything out um i don't see a lot with like as far as like smoothing texture nothing like that um, but then i don't remember any claims about that it was going to say that either um, but let me just take a little bit of my sponge and just go over it and just make sure we press it into the skin. 
spray it. I will take in my spray and spray it too. But yeah, that's pretty. When you, especially when I set it with the sponge, it looks really pretty. So I do like that. And it looks very, I mean, it looks very similarly with my skin. Um, Cause normally I wear sunscreen on my face. So I never get much, a lot of sun on my face. Um, so it, my face looks paler than the rest of my body. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. I'm not mad about it. What do you guys think so far? So let's go over with, um, let's do, um, I'll take a, let me take a little bit more. I've got just a little bit left, but I'm gonna take a little bit more with my, cause the sponge will definitely absorb it. Now let me kind of warm it up a little bit with the sponge and I'm gonna take the tip of it. And this is a Sonia Kushik sponge. If you guys have never um, tried her sponges, they're at Target and you can get a pack of them. I think they're like eight or $10, but they're so good. Um, and you can just, and you get like, you can get two of them or I think she sells them individually too. Um, but they're just great because I feel like I love the size. I mean, some people may not like it. It might be too big for them. I love the Real Technique sponges too. They're really great. Um, I don't, ha I mean, I have one Beauty Blender sponge and I did like it. Um, but I just love this one. I don't know why I love it so much, but I just love it. But yeah, I mean, definitely the foundation's absorbing into the sponge a lot more. So just to give you guys a heads up on that. So uh, because it's definitely because of the dimethicone and everything, it's going to definitely soak in. So you're going to use more foundation with the sponge. Um, but it's given a beautiful, I mean, a beautiful look with it. I mean, it definitely is. This is my hard area too, because this is where I get a lot of redness. So we're going to go in and kind of just pat that out a little more. Hmm. That's pretty. Yeah, see, I've got, I always had this little red patch there. I don't know why. I've had that since I was a child. I don't know why. I just always had that little red patch there. <laughs> it always, the redness right there. I don't know why. It always was like that. But I used to have really bad acne. So it would get like right in here. I get, I had an embedded acne scar here and on this side too. And I don't know, maybe that might be something to do with it. That's still that little bit of redness from it is still there. But, um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's like what's up and I have to kind of go over and over sometimes to cover. But yeah, what do you guys think? It's pretty. I mean, you know, it looks nice. Um, yeah, I mean, I just need to cover up that spot a little more, but yeah, I mean, it, look, it looks really good. Um, the, definitely with the brush, I feel like it's a little bit more airbrush looking kind of. Um, I think with the, the sponge, it looks good, but I mean, but, um, but this one definitely looks really, it's like less coverage. This is a little bit more coverage, I think. And maybe it might just because I put on a little bit more too. That might be some of it. Um, but it, they're both pretty. I mean, I both like both sides. I mean, both sides are great. But usually with this foundation, I normally typically wear it with a, um, I do it with a sponge normally, normally. Um, so let me take just, a, I'm going to take a little bit more. And we're just gonna see what it looks like if we build up the coverage. So we're just gonna tap over this. And while we're at it, we've kind of already kind of paired. Let me just go ahead and take a little bit and tap a little bit more on my chin because I get redness on my chin. And on the end of my nose, I get that too. Um, we're just trying to wash away all the paint today. Any <laughs> redness we have, we're just gonna wash. Since we're already kind of like a little, it's a little bit lighter, um, we're just gonna be washing all that out. But you know, later, we'll just put a bronzer and stuff on later. I'm not worried about it, cause I have a, a, we have, I have a makeup tutorial to do after this. So I'm fine with it. It's, it's perfectly okay. We'll work it in. Um, cause I'm going to be honest with you with the shades, when they did suggest the shade for me, I think the name, the next one up was going into the really dark skin tones. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how that's going to transfer whenever it comes over to the U S cause it will get here because it's a definite, a big definite. I know that with long calm, usually sometimes they will launch stuff and, and, um, UK before we get them here in the U S here of late, we've been getting in the UK, U S before the UK, but. For a long time, it used to get, um, we used to get it uh, a little bit more, it, it would go into the UK first and then come to the US. Um, and if you guys don't know, I work for Lancome and Dior. Um, I freelance for them or I'm a regional artist for both. So I work for both companies. So I'm backwards and forwards all the time. So if you hear me talk a little bit about long, more Lancome and Dior, then that's why, um, if you're new. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. I mean, it did, it does cover. 
Um, I mean, I could see a little bit of the luminosity. Definitely, again, I see it a little bit more with the brush side than I do with the sponge side. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really, and it did give coverage. It did cover it up um, for the most part. It is covering up a lot of problems. If you like a little bit more coverage, you just got to build it. You got to keep building it. But that's the way the other one was. I feel like this one's a little, it's definitely more thinner. Um, the um, original was a little bit more, um, it was a little thicker. It had more of a thickness to it. Um, so I feel like you got the fuller coverage like right a little bit more off the bat. This one, you have to build a little bit more. So I don't know if they did that on purpose or maybe if it's the sunscreen or whatever, but you know, I don't know, we'll see. Um, I will have to keep you guys up to date as far as wear time and everything and how it does wear. I know that the other one wore impeccable and it did a beautiful job all day long. I'm pretty much sure, assuming that this is gonna do the same thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's just, to me, it's a little, it's just pale. It's definitely more pale. Um, I probably would mix something a little bit more darker in with it or make it a little darker because um, this is going to make me look a little bit more sick throughout the day and I don't like that. I um, mean, I can see it kind of sitting in my skin a little bit more, whereas if it matches my skin better, you don't see it sitting in your skin, which I don't like. Um, so um, it's going to be interesting to see how it wears, but... Um, yeah, I mean, we'll um, play with it in a little bit. I'm going to go off camera. I'm going to do um, a lipstick, a little something, something, and then come back. I might just go ahead and add a little bronzer so I don't feel so washed out, um, you know, especially with this shirt, which, by the way, this shirt is driving me bananas. I love this shirt, but it drives me crazy when I'm on camera because it wants to ride up on me all the time. Um, so, anyway, we will be right back, and I'll give you my final thoughts on it and see what I think about it. Okay, guys, so we are back. So what do you guys think? The skin looks absolutely beautiful. We did set it with a little bit of the Rare Beauty uh, Mist. I did do a little bit of my Dior No Powder, No Powder. Um, and it looks really beautiful. It set beautifully. It worked great with cream blush. It did work great with a little bit of contour. Um, it did a really good job. It did good with the concealer that I used because um, I mixed the two concealers together. So it did a really good job with that. Um, you know, and also it looked really, my lipstick looked great. I just love this lipstick. This is the Velvet Cinnabar by Lisa Eldridge. Such a beautiful color. Um, but yeah, I think, um, I'm really going to like this foundation. It feels lightweight. It's not too heavy. Um, it's not too sticky or anything like that. Um, it seemed to sit down. It feels very similar to the original. I feel like the smell in it, um, was a little bit more intense than the older one, which I think is very, but I think it's because they're going more natural. Um, but it's supposed to be like 77% more natural. Um, so the, the packaging, as far as the packaging and stuff goes, they're very similar. There's not a lot of difference in the packaging other than I think the, bo the bottle's a little bit more frosted and then they got more bougier with the cap. Um, around the top. I think that's a little bit more. And then, you know, of course, there's the SPF. Um, I definitely like the color in this one a lot better. I think this one is very fair. I had to really, you know, beef up a little bit more with the cream blush and stuff to make my skin look a little bit more flush so it didn't look so washed out. Um, but I mean, then it worked out. I mean, um, I can work with anything, guys. So anything that I'm given, I can work with. So it doesn't matter. But I mean, and it turned out really beautiful, though. I don't have a doubt in my mind that it's not going to stay on all day and it's going to look just like this all day long. It's going to look really pretty because that's the way this one does. So I'm not really expecting anything different from this one. Um, you know, as far as the glow, um, it does have a little bit more of a, a glow to it. I feel like the, this one is more matte. So this one does have more of a matte feel to it. So if you're an oilier skin and you really love this one because it was more matte, um, you know, because I felt like it was matte, but then again, later on, it would kind of just blend into the skin and kind of give a little bit more of a glow. Um, this one's got a little bit more glow under tone to it. Um, you have to build it more too. So this one is more full coverage off the bat. This one, you got to build a little bit more. Um, I can't stress the sunscreen enough. You're going to have to make sure that you get one, maybe a shade or two darker than what you think you're going to be because of the sunscreen. So just keep that in mind. Um, you know, the price difference too will be different than it is here um, in the U.S. than it will be in um, uh, than it is in Europe because in Europe it's thirty seven fifty. You know, here it's U.S. dollars. You know, here it's going to be probably anywhere between 
I would say probably the $50 to $55 mark, probably. Um, you know, and then maybe the sunscreen may be different. The colors may be different. Sometimes they do that in Europe. Sometimes they don't. Here of late, they've been trying to translate what is in Europe here. So we have the same shade range. So they're not different. Um, I know that L'Oreal has been working on that. So, um, so I'm sure that they will. Um, I do love the packaging. I love the YSL. I think it's a little bit more sleeker. I think it looks a little more elegant than just the stripe down the side of the bottle. Um, you know, but other than that, the difference is the cap difference and maybe the print and stuff like that. The bottle is the same. Um, you know, they feel the same. They feel weighted. They both feel really, it still feels luxurious. Um, you know, all in all, guys, I think this is going to be a really beautiful foundation. I think it'd be great. It's just, I might still have to mix it with a little bit more of a deeper shade. Or maybe when I get maybe a little bit more fair in the winter, it might be fun. It might be okay. Um, I'm really not super crazy about a super, super heavy sunscreen in my foundation either. I prefer actually a makeup without a sunscreen or maybe one with just a little bit of one in it um, because I normally wear SPF anyway. Um, so I really don't feel the need to have that heavy of an SPF in my makeup. But maybe that was something that YSL took into consideration. Maybe people complained about it and they wanted a little bit more of an SPF in it. I mean, or maybe they're trying to um, make it with the guidelines, you know, because I think it's like a SPF 30 is like supposed to be the minimal. Um, it was a 25, so they decided to maximize it. Um, I know that Lancome is going through a, ta a doll redo uh, as well. They will be doing that. I think it's supposed to be January or February. The re, they're um, they're redoing Tai Doll, so um, definitely keep that in mind too. I know that they're reformulating that, so I'm wondering to see what if this is going to be a little similar to that one um, when it does come out. But all in all, guys, it's really beautiful. Um, I'm really liking it. It's really pretty. Um, for the look that I'm getting ready to do, I wanted to have something a little bit more long wear on today, so I really wanted to try this one. Um, we have two more um makeups coming that we're going to be testing out soon. Um, I will be keeping you guys up on that one too that is not launched as well here. They are also overseas and it's in France already. They already have it, but they probably will be launching soon here in the U.S., um, so be keeping an eye out for that as we have more foundation reviews to do. Um, but with that said, guys, you know, thank you so much for sticking around this long. I really do appreciate it. If you have, then, um, you know, why don't you just go ahead and subscribe? You just go ahead and do it because you know you want to. You want to, you want to stay. You know you want to. You know you want to. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, and, um, you know, and I hope that you like this. If you did, please make give it a like and give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, if you didn't, you know, um, I'm glad you you watched it. And you got this far. You know, I'm just I'm sorry, but I mean, I'm glad that you joined us anyway. You know, um, I appreciate you guys just watching, even if you don't subscribe. It does not matter to me. I just appreciate every single person that watches. Um, that you've taken the time out of your day, whether it's two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes. You know, the whole 20, 30 minutes or whatever it may be, you know, I really do appreciate you taking your time out to watch me. So anyway, with that said, guys, you know, please be safe, be strong, be proud, stand tall, love yourself, and remember to tell somebody that you love them today because life is way too short. And remember to be kind to someone today because a little kindness can go off a long way. And remember to have some fun today. You know, laugh today, smile today. You know, try to have a good day. Try to make every day a good day, um, you know, as much as you can. Um, and, you know, and with that said, guys, peace out. And we will see you again in the next episode. So, bye-bye for now.